Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who absolutely loves experimenting with some special effects makeup. Uh, this is actually like the, I don't know, like the second or third uh, look that I've done using special effects makeup. I am by no means an expert at all, uh, but I'm just having fun. This is look number three in my 10 Plagues Passover 2021 series. If you missed the first two, I highly encourage you to go back. I will be making a playlist so you can see all the looks in one place. So as I mentioned, this is look number three, Kinim or Lice. Um, and I drew a little lice on my face. So if you guys want to see how I did this look, it's super, super easy. Then please keep on watching. So I'm just going to give a little bit of an intro about this project. Again, if you've seen this in my other videos and just skip this part. Long story short, uh, I noticed there was a bit of a gap in the sort of YouTube, social media, makeup world. Okay, so a bit of background about me. I am a an observant Jew uh, and I love makeup. <laughs> Pretty much all you need to know about me. And what I noticed is you don't often see too many creative makeup looks that use Jewish kind of traditional religious like symbolism, I guess. So like, for example, during Christmas, you see tons and tons of Christmas themed makeup looks. You see like reindeer, you see candy canes, you see Santa, you see elves, like all of that stuff. Halloween, same thing. You see like pumpkins, you see like Day of the Dead stuff, you know, things like that, or even just lots and lots of costumes. For some reason, like, I'm sure there are tons of Jewish makeup artists, but I don't see a lot of that stuff coming from them around the Jewish holidays. And certain holidays in particular, there's a lot that you can do creatively. Uh, so I thought I would step into that, uh, that gap and uh, do something fun. Not saying that there isn't that at all. Like I have seen a couple Jewish makeup artists or makeup enthusiasts do that, but it's very, very uncommon. Because I identified uh, a niche area that hasn't been explored too much, I figured I would step up to the plate and try it out myself. I wanted to uh, pay tribute, I guess, to honor the holiday of Passover, which is coming up this year at the end of March. And um, I thought, because I'm just too ambitious sometimes for my own good, I thought, why don't I create 10 different makeup looks and each one will represent a different, um, will represent each of the 10 plagues. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the story of Passover, long story short, I've got like my notes here just so I like remember to say everything that I want to say. Um, okay, Jews were slaves in Egypt for... There's like somewhere between 200 and 400 years, um, a little unclear, like exactly how long. And this was like, this was during the time of the Pharaohs. So, you know, a long time ago. So Moses or Moshe in Hebrew, um, who ended up becoming the Jewish leader at the end of the Passover story, uh, pleaded with Pharaoh to let the Jews go free from slavery. Context, Moses had been he had grown up with that pharaoh. He had been adopted by the previous pharaoh, i.e. like the father of the current pharaoh at the time. He was raised as a member of the royal household until he learned of his Jewish parentage. Long story there, watch the prince of Egypt. <laughs> Moses said, let my people go. Pharaoh refused. This happened numerous times. Every time that pharaoh refused, God punished the Egyptians. Each of those times was a different plague against the Egyptian people. So the plagues are as follows, um, blood, frogs. It's like very confusing for me to do this in English because normally I say them in Hebrew. So let's see if I can. Okay, so blood, frogs, lice, um, like wild animals, um, livestock disease, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and um, like slaying of the firstborn children. 
So in Hebrew, Dam Tzvareya Kini Marav Dever Shrin Barad Arbe Choshech Makat Bechorot. So that's uh, pretty much everything you need to know. And then um, just for each video, I'll kind of explain a little bit more in depth what each plague actually entailed. And essentially for the series, some of the plagues I took kind of more literally and did kind of a, like a literal depiction of what the plague was. Some of them I was a bit more creative, took a bit more artistic license, kind of, de kind of depended on the nature of the plague and how easy it was to execute on my face. Couple disclaimers, I am not a professional makeup artist, as I mentioned. I am completely self-taught and I'm just starting to get into special effects makeup. So literally this is like the first time uh, that I'm trying a lot of these sort of techniques and products. So I apologize in advance if I don't do a good job or, you know, if there are things that I could have done better uh, because I, again, I'm not a prof I'm not professionally trained, so I don't know. Uh, if there's something that I could have done better, uh, feel free to comment below, but like, please be nice. And one more thing, as with all of my videos, I list all of the products and tools that I use in the description box below. So if you have any questions about what I'm using, that's where to find them. If I miss something, feel free to comment and I will update it for you. All right, this video is the plague of lice. There were lice everywhere. Uh, and with that said, let's just get on to the rest of the video. I've already got my base makeup on because this is actually gonna be quite a simple look and I don't think I really need to show how I did my face because it's not really relevant. I'm just gonna draw some bugs on my face and uh, yeah, let's just get started. So I'll zoom in a little bit. I might be a little bright, hold on, let's see. Let's just zoom in a bit. Yeah, I'm a little bright, so let's just turn my light down a bit. And that should be good. I've got my hair back. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with my hair, but I will leave that to the end. As with the rest of the series, I will be using the Ben Nye Master Cream Palette, or creme, I don't know. Just a bunch of cream makeup, like special effects cream makeup. I am not super fancy. I'm just gonna be using the black shade and then I might highlight a little bit, but I'm not that fancy, so most likely I won't. If you want to know the rest of the products that are on my face, I always list my products in the description box below, so you can check those out if you're wondering what products I've got on today. I'm going to try and do different shaped lice all over my face. I might draw some on my neck. We will see. So I don't actually know what lice look like, so I'm just going to draw kind of like generic six-legged bugs. One's got a little bit of a fat leg. Okay, that's kind of an ugly looking bug. It's kind of turning into a leech. Might have to clean these up with concealer after, I don't know. Oh, you know what I just realized? What would make them look more uh, bug-like? I need to add antennae. So which way? I guess this guy is going this way. So we'll add a little antennae. There we go. Now it looks more bug-like. This one's a little trickier to do. Doesn't really look like a bug. It's hard to do it on my non-dominant side. These definitely aren't going to be the most anatomically correct. Let's draw a little one down here. Let's see if I can cover up my zit maybe with a bug. I think I'll add a few more. Maybe let's add one under my nose or like crawling towards my nose. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna throw on a wig and then I'll show you guys the final look. Okay, so this is the final look.
So that is everything. Um, I've had so much fun doing this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I definitely had a lot of fun. If you haven't seen them yet, I highly encourage you to go back and watch the other two looks in the series so far. There's going to be 10 looks in total, so I highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications, and that way you'll get updated every time I post a new video. My upload schedule for these videos is not going to be <laughs> the same as my normal upload schedule. It's going to be a lot more rapid. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you guys enjoy this series and I'll see you guys next time.